All right, Matt fam, I just had to show this off. A couple months ago, I got an email from a website named Zavi, and they put a pre-order up for this Predator poster. I'll show you the whole thing in a second. But it's not like, a, it's more like a, a giant art print. It's a 16 by 24. It, um, it's not like the regular thin poster paper. It's, it's incredible. It's so damn crisp and beautiful looking. And wait till you see the entire image. It is so awesome. This is the Jungle Hunter from the original Predator in a stylized kind of, it's not like an image from the actual movie, but it's stylized. It's him with his cloaking technology with a, a severed skull and spine. It's friggin' amazing. But anyway, I ordered from Amazon this uh, frame. It's, it was actually tricky to get a 16 by 24 frame, but I went with this blue color. I'm hoping it is in one piece. I think it's called like blue steel or something. We're going to, it's wooden, but it's just called blue steel. I'm gonna cut this open. This poster just came. The Predator one came yesterday. And then the, the frame just came today and I'm so excited to put this up in a living room. So uh, let me cut this open and see if it's even, if it's not broken. That's the worst, getting a frame in the mail and it ends up being broke. All right, so let's take the bindings out. And here it is. Oh, I can't hang it up today right away. I got to do the uh, installation. I forgot about that, but all right, it says, Peel the film off of both sides. So here it is. It's got a protective film on it. And it's got saran wrap. It looked like it was packaged nice. And it's not... <clears throat> I was going to say, it's not plexi... It's not glass. It's plexiglass. And I, that's because I didn't want it falling and shattering in the living room, so I was completely fine with plexiglass. It actually feels like glass, though. I'm gonna have to see if they, cause there was, you know how Amazon is when, where they combine listings? There was a combined listing for glass and plexiglass, and I ordered plexiglass, but it actually kinda, well, it might be plexi. But yeah, that looks sharp. I hope that blue's gonna go well with the blue and green on the Predator poster. All right, I'm trying not to bore you, so I took the, the blue wrap off of the reverse side and the inside, and I'm going to try to get the poster laying right down in it. Now, I'm guessing the best way to do this is to slide this right under the poster, and then that way I can flip it and put it right down. So let's see how that works. <laughs> your first sneak peek at it. I got it on the board. Now I'm going to get it on the glass. And see, this comes with a certificate of authenticity as well as it's numbered. It looks like I have 48 out of 163. Now what I did here is I gently laid it inside the frame. And then I'm going to take the backing and I'm going to set it down, smooth it down on the one end nice and neat. And just lay it on down to flatten it nice and neat. All right. Now I'm going to put the pins to hold the backing on. I took a sneak peek at it and it looks like you lose a tiny, tiny bit of image, especially on the tip of the blade of the knife. And I might find a better way to frame this later on. But for the next year or so, this is going to be how it is. Let's take a look. Ah. Hold on. All right. I just set it on the chair so we can see it in one full shot. See what I mean? The claws come right down to the almost the edge of the paper, and the tip is just right behind that. And the Predator logo, I like how that sits, the title. I like how that sits flush with the poster frame. I think the best thing to do would be to get a frame that's just a little bit bigger, like maybe one inch by one inch. So instead of a 16 by 24, get a 17 by 25, maybe a custom frame, and then have an insert that would go around and just barely hold the print in. That could work. That way you get the full print. I love that. Let me show you where it's gonna go. 
Now my daughter's not feeling well, so she's kind of lounging in the living room. Uh, it looks like a mess. So I'm just gonna show you the wall and the idea here. The, uh, the old picture was a Last of Us picture right there. And I took it down because I have a Last of Us set up in the, in the office. So this is going to go up here where the Last of Us, see that nail up there? It's gonna go right up there on the wall. And then on the mantle will be all the NECA predators as well as uh, we got, I got little shelvings. I'm gonna show you in a second. Some of the shelves are gonna extend out here and I got some other print ideas to go all around. So this is gonna be my predator wall. Maybe if I get some kind of studded shelf, I'm gonna put the predator bust. I'll show you that. Here's just a far away look at it. When you walk into the house, like I said, it's a little mess right now, but you have the fireplace, you'll have the predators, you'll have the main piece hanging right up uh, on that wall, and then you'll have this stuff around it, the new stuff I'm adding. That was the old poster, The Last of Us. I'm still hanging it up. I'm gonna hang it up in uh, the office. I'm gonna make room because back there I have the last of us set up with a bunch of stuff but uh where was that here i wanted to show you guys uh this is the shelving it's just these white shelves i bought this for uh 17 bucks i believe just to test it out and it'll work perfect so instead of having books and knickknacks and crap we're gonna have some cool predators and then the plan is to take the classic predator the elder predator and transfer them over to the living room and put the rest of the last of us stuff up here maybe spread it out a little more we have joel one six scale we have the clicker bust just a skull giving it that apocalyptic feeling to it we have a clicker i friggin love this thing uh, but like i said the other thing that's going to go up is this bust i love that it's not the best in the world as far as paint and coloring and stuff but that's gonna go out with the predator stuff and probably the one fourth scale the quarter scale NECA jungle hunter so it may be the aliens too I mean it's in the same whatchamacallit it's in the same uh, you know what I mean the franchises cross over so I really should have did a full body shot of getting in close and going up and down of this bef before it was framed to be honest because it looks so crisp and now we're going to get a glare but the thing is it, it rolls up on you because it's, it's that thick paper and it's great because the coloring is so crisp yet it's a matte paper it's not like this glossy shiny there's no reflection on this type of print it's friggin awesome it is so damn gorgeous man so you got the logo with the purple and the green you know what maybe i should have gone with a purple frame now that i think about it you guys let me know what you think i went with the blue because of how it blends in with the top and the body i felt like there was a, just a little bit more blue and the green would um i just felt like the green would be hard to find that type of green plus it would be uh it just wouldn't have the right feel i think because the frame might take away from the overall poster i feel like the frame it's subtle enough it doesn't get lost and you can see the artwork anyway look at that skull man <laughs> that is so amazing i love that like i said it's so damn crisp without that glare look at his body reflected the cloaking reflected reflecting the jungle and shit you got his claw his hand is coming out of the cloak you got his arm panel open and then his body and his head is coming out of the cloak i thought it would be kind of cool if his shoulder cannon was out of the cloak but you can kind of see it in there so maybe that's what makes it even more cooler i think for some because you got his back piece that's coming out of the cloaking technology and it's just friggin amazing and then you have his head there and i love a masked predator 
but having him unmasked here, I think it works perfectly. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a Dutch hidden in the, the trees or something. I doubt it, but I saw a poster where they had a Dutch hidden in the tree wearing the mud. But I don't think there's a Dutch hidden in this. This thing is friggin' outstanding. Anyway, give me your thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think about this Predator art piece and the setup idea? All right, thanks for checking this out. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out.